This is Lena Kanikraj, Client Manager Sales and Marketing with more than 12 years of experience. And I'm here with Fox Chain Analyst with the ERC Advisory Group. And Fox is having more than seven years of analyst experience. Fox have just completed a market analysis report on collaborative robot. Today, we will discuss the scope of the report, the trends, inhibitors, the leading suppliers, and how the collaborative robot report will be, will be beneficial to the clients. Fox, can you please let us know the scope of this market analysis report? Well, uh, thank you, Lina. So this report right, is focused on the collective robot market for the year 2022 and along with some trends going to 2023. And other than the studies on the market and the industrial segments, so the analysis is also segmented into three categories based on the robot payload. So we have three of them. We have up to five, five to 10, and 10 kg, more than 10 kg. Thanks, Fox, for briefing the scope. I would be happy to know more about the supplier landscape of this market. Well, the landscape has really been quite competitive. So we have the market leaders, and they include uh, like Universal Robots, we have Techman Robots, we have Albo, we have Fanuk, Chaka, ABB, Kawasaki, and Dusan. So these are some examples. And based on this really brief snapshot of the market leaders, you can see that the Asian cobalt manufacturers are really active in this space. And some of them are really getting more and more visible. Great folks to know about the Asian manufacturers are active in this space. So what do you think the key growth or success factors of this collaborative robot uh, study? Uh, thank you, Nila. So I'll just talk briefly on three points. And well, first of all, well, as we may, all may know, the shortage of labor has always been a key driver for adopting robotics. And then this problem was compounded during the pandemic, where we experienced restrictions, uh, things like, you know, the lockdown and the social distancing. And secondly, in recent years, there's also a lot of the paradigm shift, where emphasis is growing more on the like supply chain resiliency and more on carbon neutral technologies. And those things have been going quite well in terms of with the restart of the post-pandemic industrial activities. And finally, to grow the market, we need new applications to develop. So what does this mean? This means that we need uh, innovation and co-innovation, and those are key to grow the cobalt ecosystem and the market. Excellent, Fox, uh, to know that the adoption of robotics helps in shortage of labor issues. So is there any growth inhibiting factors of this study? Well, of course, there are pretty several, several of them. So, for instance, the supply chain disruption does have an impact uh, on this when there's a shortage of materials and parts. So, what does it do? It actually increases the difficulty in fulfilling production orders, and that results in the longer leading uh, results in longer leading time lead time. And of course, we have things more like uh, political uncertainty, inflation, and rising costs. And, you know, that kind of like kept some of the growth when businesses are more cautious. Thanks, Fox. Good to know that the supply chain disruption and uh, rising cost, uh, these are the two uh, factors which inhibits the growth factor. With the above feedback, what strategies would you recommend to a buyer of the system? Mm -hmm. Well, there isn't really a one strategy fee or kind of recommendation. I guess the main reason to buy a collective robot is really to improve the production efficiency by ironing out the labor related issues that one may have. What buyers could do in addition actually is to take a brief step back and consider how else a cobot can also align with other key business goals that may, they may have. For example, along a line of sustainability. And that way, a more holistic benefit of the technology can be achieved. Thanks, Fox. It's good to, uh, you're recommending the buyers to improve the production efficiency. Uh, is there any other key trends or points you would like to share with the audience? Uh, yeah, that's a good one, Anina. So definitely programming methods are really getting easier and simpler by the days. And this is actually a very important offering, important aspect of the Cobalt offerings. So last time we already have things like offline programming methods and teaching this methods. But now, we can expect this to evolve further to include more AI-based programming methods which actually complement the use of other enabling technologies to really, really simplify the programming process for end users even further. 
Already this year, there are news of companies working on developing GPT-based collective robots. And I think this is really going to be really exciting to see how the space is going to evolve. Good to hear that uh, programming method of robots is one of the key trends in this space. So based on this uh, recommendation, how can buyers of the study benefit if they purchase this uh, market research report? Well, um, thank you, Nina. So first of all, well, it's really good to have a situation awareness on the updates of the landscape. And also, it's also good to really to have a more holistic overview from development in the lamps, in the market and the technology aspects coming from an independent party perspective. And of course, our consolidated data can be helpful for making more informed decisions. Thanks, Park Chen, for this excellent responses for the queries on a collaborative robots market analysis report. And I'm sure clients will be benefited by listening to you. Audience can also feel free to reach out to us by visiting our website through the link given in the description. You can also fill in the contact info on our website to have in-depth conversation more about how the market analysis report like this can help you and your company. So once again, thanks Foxchain for your time and thanks to the audience. It was a great discussion. All right, thank you, Nina. If you like what you saw in this video and want more informative content, be sure to like, comment, and hit the notification bell below. Also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again, folks. We really appreciate the time and we'll see you in the next video.